My fellow mortgage professionals, our industry is flawed. Mortgage loans have a horrible reputation of being difficult and taking forever to close. I just did a Google search for how long does it take to close a mortgage, and I found multiple data sources pointing to timeframes ranging from 45 to 65 days. This is insane. The good thing is that you, the loan originator, the mortgage professional that drives the entire transaction, can execute on one simple strategy to fix the vast majority of this and send every one of your loans on the fast track to closing. I'm talking 21 days or less. And if you really commit to this, it'll be a lot less. Time and again, the first 24 hours of the mortgage transaction have proven to be the most important by a pretty large margin. And this isn't the 24 hours after your loan is handed off to your loan opener or processor or the 24 hours after it's submitted to underwriting. I'm talking about the 24 hours after you make first contact with a borrower who's interested in moving forward with a mortgage. This time frame is so important that it's the basis for our strategy, which we call the first 24. Step one and the foundation of the first 24 is the initial conversation you have with the borrower. Warning, this will not be a short and simple conversation. We're looking to accomplish some very specific things here. It may even make you uncomfortable, which is why most loan originators avoid having conversations like this. But it's also why the originators that do have a clear advantage over the ones that don't. Now you do have some professional goals to accomplish in this conversation. We're gonna talk about information transfer, filling out fields, document requests, signatures, the list goes on. But it's easy to get lost in that stuff sometimes. So let's start by remembering that we're working with a borrower, a fellow human. They are far more than a data source for us to extract information from. This is who we are in this industry to serve. A mortgage transaction is a big deal. Some people's, many people's, possibly even most people's largest investment that they ever make in their life. And it can be a big source of stress for many. So let's make our first goal for this conversation be get to know the borrower and allow them to get to know you. Be empathetic. Don't be afraid to make friends. This conversation needs to be a two-way road, just like the mortgage transaction needs to be a two-way road. While your personal human goals are being accomplished, here are the professional goals for this particular conversation. Fill out a complete, a complete loan application. Did I mention it needs to be complete? And the itemization. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot of information, but all those questions are there for a reason, and you'd be surprised how willing borrowers are to have this talk with you. Okay, Mr. Smith, I'm gonna have to ask you for a lot of information to get your mortgage moving as quick as possible. What kind of information? Contact info, any properties you own, employment, income. It's quite a few things. We don't need you to pledge your firstborn, but we do need a little more than a pinky promise. We'll go through it all step by step right now. Okay, let's go. Complete and accurate information is imperative to the first 24 and to every mortgage transaction. At the end of the day, most borrowers are applying to borrow hundreds of thousands of dollars. They know that and they won't mind giving you what you need as long as you're upfront and honest with them. And make sure you get authorization to run credit also so you can properly qualify them and structure the loan. Step two is putting your systems to work. You're going to want to run credit and do a quick review right away. Preferably, this also happens during the phone call. Depending on what the credit report says, you may have some questions for the borrower. And there's no better time to have a conversation about credit qualification than right now. And now, with a complete application and your credit report, you're going to want to run the loan through DU, LP, or whatever automated underwriting system you're using. Maybe sooner than you normally would. This will not only give you that automated approval, but it'll help you put together a nice, complete needs list for your borrower. Now, some originators prefer to run this automated underwrite while they're on the phone with the borrower, and some prefer to do it afterwards. Either way is fine, but there's one thing that must 
be done before the phone call ends. You must inform the borrower that any items you request from them need to be sent to you within 24 hours through the entire transaction. No exceptions. Remember how we said that a mortgage transaction needs to be a two-way road? This is the borrower's commitment to the first 24. Everything from e-signing and returning initial disclosures, emailing or uploading pay stubs, W-2s, bank statements, letters of explanation, or any other condition that comes up. The only way this transaction works is if you get those things back within 24 hours of when they were requested. If they can't do that for you, it's okay. This is your chance to make it clear to them that it'll probably take a little longer to close their loan and expectations can be set properly from the start. The loan closes at their pace, not your pace. But still, happy customer and a great review. However, most borrowers don't want a longer close. In this more common case, you have both a borrower and a lender committed to the first 24. This results in little to no waiting for documentation and quick and simple scheduling of things like appraisals, property inspections, and doc signings. Plus, since all your information was so accurate and complete, you get to structure the loan properly from the beginning, from day number one. This results in obviously fewer restructures, but also faster underwrites, fewer lock extensions or relocks, and no more unpleasantly surprised borrowers at the end of the process because getting everything early eliminates the need for last minute changes and adjustments. The third and final step is to set the loan file up for success. For a loan originator, the majority of the first 24 is about embracing the initial conversation with the borrower. More than just embracing it, it's really a commitment to getting the most out of it, to getting everything out of it that you need, that you and the borrower both need in order to get this thing moving at a more rapid pace than you may be accustomed to. But there's a few other things you need to complete during those first 24 hours. Every loan origination system has a note section of some kind. Encompass calls theirs a conversation log. Open it and explain any nuances of the file. How you came up with the income calculation, where assets are coming from, reasons for credit issues, anything else you can think of. Answer those questions your processor and underwriter are gonna ask before they can ask them. For self-employed borrowers, complete an income calculation worksheet. Complete your appropriate file contacts for appraiser, settlement agent, title company, and real estate agent so all those services can be ordered and scheduled right away. Is this a lot to do in the first 24 hours? Maybe. I mean, let's be honest. Not really. It's all stuff that needs to happen anyway. And by front-loading the mortgage process like this and getting the borrower on board early, your loan files will have no other choice than to fly through the system without delay. The first 24 will improve your closing times. It will result in less stressful mortgage loans, and it will result in happier borrowers, both on closing day and beyond. So let's use this as a tool on every loan we do. Let's leverage the first 24 to our advantage. Let's really make this an arbitrage opportunity to gain the upper hand in our market by decreasing those closing times. Let's get out there and have a conversation with somebody. Huh? Oh, just finished up a video basically pleading with loan officers to have a conversation with their borrowers. Yeah, I'm, I know. I know the bar is set really, really low for loan officers. They basically just need to show up and they're already ahead of 50% of their competition. Yeah, and then have a conversation with somebody, like an actual empathetic conversation where they care about another human being and they're like skyrocketing past the next 50%. I, it's pretty insane. I know.